Welcome back to another video of mine. So in today's video, we are going to talk about something on Animal Jam. I made a video a while back on Animal Jam's weird romantic side and discussed a bunch of the romance that is presented in Animal Jam's game. Believe it or not, there is a lot of romantic things tied to this supposed kids game. But that isn't what we are discussing today, because I've already done that. Go watch that video after this one if you haven't already. The thing is, there was something in that video that I briefed over, that I skimmed over. I recently rewatched the video and realized that I didn't go over something pretty important to the weird romantic side of Animal Gems game. I like mentioned it once and then never said anything more. What is that, you may ask? Well, the ships in Animal Jam between alpha characters. I talked about how jammers shipped Animal Jam YouTubers together. I talked about how they shipped their own characters on the game and Greeley together. But I didn't go over the Greeley and Peck ship in Animal Jam. That's right, if you didn't already know, jammers actually ship these two alphas on Animal Jam. Some people still ship them together, to this day. And I want to talk about that. I want to go over the ship on Animal Jam, as it was a real thing for the longest time and still even is now. Just maybe not as much as Animal Jam isn't as popular these days, but regardless of anything, Greeley and Peck was a thing to some jammers. A ship on Animal Jam, and I'm going to cover it whether you like it or not. A deep dive on the matter. I'm Lima Puppy, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started with the video. So the ship between Greeley and Peck, how did it start? The thing is, I tried to look everywhere for how this ship had started. I couldn't figure it out or find a starting point. There are a ton of fan drawings and fan fictions for these two. There was even jokes about how past jam bastard Bepper didn't like the Greeley Peck ship, but I couldn't find how it actually started. What I assume is that jammers looked at all the alphas and decided that Greeley and Peck looked the most shippable out of the bunch. Because many of the alphas look kind of odd to ship, if I'm being honest here. I personally could not see Lisa with any of the alphas, that just feels wrong. She is like the mother of the group, whereas Peck and Greeley fit the ship role much better. Peck is hyper and bubbly, and Greeley is dark and moody. Peck is super kind and creative, she's always trying to help those in need. Greeley prefers to be alone and is very intelligent. He even enjoys studying phantoms and helping the land of Jamal. They are opposites and clash in personalities, but it's not inherently bad. Otherwise, the saying opposites attract wouldn't be a thing. And I personally think their differences in personality, being so strong on one way, is interesting and makes them more unique than the other alphas. And that may be my personal bias showing off a bit. Also, they go into the trope of shipping a bunny with a wolf or fox. Believe it or not, it's happened more than you can imagine. I'm not sure if I exactly ship them, maybe a little. I don't really care to ship them, I guess is what I'm saying. Either way, a lot of people did and still do ship them, which is fine. It's a ship, it's harmless. All those drawings, all those fanfics on them, they are fine. I mean, as long as they aren't anything not safe for work, as Animal Jam is a kid's game, then I don't see the real concern. And by the way, I don't consider kissing to be bad, I don't consider them cuddling to be bad, or any romantic tension that's written in the fanfictions. What I consider to be bad is... well... You can probably take a guess on what that might be. I'm not going to say it because this channel always remains somewhat kid friendly. Even though we may cover topics like this, it does not mean we have to discuss the inappropriate matters surrounding them. As I honestly don't want to. Anyways, moving on from this, I want to get into some of the artwork created for these two alpha lovers. We will discuss the Greeley and Peck fan art created by the Jammers on Animal Jam. Most of the fan art seems to have been created by younger jammers, or from what I can assume. It seems to be cute drawings of the two alphas, either saying stuff to each other or doing cute things together. There was one drawing that kind of confused me, which it was Peck being super cringy and calling Greeley kawaii, and then him saying he would rip Peck's head off and like, almost looking like he was gonna bite it. I don't understand how exactly that's shipping feel, but it was funny to say the least. These drawings are rather simple and not as complex. Basically, just for the purpose of shipping them, I assume. I did find a very well-drawn masterpiece on Animal Jam of the both of them putting a flower crown on each other, which is a really pretty drawing and underrated. There was one with them defending phantoms in the forest. I also think the art style was really cute in this one, and they both look great, working together despite their differences. There was also a drawing of Peck and Greeley with Nick and Judy from Zootopia, and Haru and Lugowski from Beastars, which I find extremely ironic since they are all similar in that way of it's a bunny character shipped with a predator animal such as a wolf or fox. 
that's the only reason I chose to point it out. I just find it kind of interesting for that reason. There was also a lot of dialogue and moments Greeley and Peck shared in the Animal Jam comics. Nothing remotely romantic, but I thought I would mention it. And it's also not really fan art, as it was made by Animal Jam. It's just cool to see a comic for the alpha characters in general, if I'm being honest. Then I came across a drawing of Greeley and Sir Gilbert. And I realized that they're also shipped by Jammers too. Honestly, at this point, I think Greeley was shipped with many characters, many alphas. And I find that funny since he was the one alpha who didn't care to be social with any other animals. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about for the artwork for Greeley and Peck. Next, I want to talk about the fan fictions. So, when it comes to the fan fictions for these two alphas, there is quite a lot out there. Honestly though, there is a lot of fan fictions for a lot of characters in Animal Jam. I'm going to read through a short fan fiction of Greeley and Peck just to give an example of what they can be like. I found one on Animal Jam Wiki called Peck and Greeley, A Love Story. One day, the alphas went off to destroy some phantoms. It took them days to find the phantoms. They remembered what Zeo said. Alphas never give up, keep standing strong, and then... Lisa. Let's split up into groups. Graham, Cosmo, Sil Gilbert, and me are one. We are going to find the phantom base and destroy the phantoms, while Peck and Greeley, of course, will destroy the phantom king. Greeley. What? Don't group me with my total opposite. Ugh. Cosmo and Graham. No, 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 no. Nobody disobeys Lisa. Hmm? Peck. Okay, then. This will be fun. Greeley. Shut up, kiddo. Lisa and the others left to find and destroy the phantoms. Greeley's mind. Great. I'm going to have fun with this bunny. Hmm. Peck's mind. Ooh, I can't wait to have some fun with Greeley, yay! Greeley, come on, follow me, stay quiet, Peck. Peck, okay then. Greeley and Peck went to the forest to get some materials so they could create shelter and make food. Peck, huh? Why the forest? Greeley, materials, of course. Peck, oh, okay. Peck then grabbed a lot of fruits and vegetables while Greeley cut down the trees and some big boulders. Peck suddenly disappeared from Greeley's sight. And then, Greeley, Peck, where the blank are you? Peck. Ah! Fans! Uh, Greeley. Fan what? Wait, phantoms? Peck! Uh, I'm coming! Greeley ran towards where he heard Peck's very loud scream. Peck. Greeley, you're here! Quick! Greeley. Peck. I'm coming to save you, you brat! Peck then sheds tears. Greeley was worried. Greeley. Peck, why are you crying? Are you okay? Greeley cuts the cage with his very sharp claws and frees Peck. Peck then hugs Greeley with a big smile. Peck. I don't care! I want to tell you something I've never told you before! Greeley. What, Peck? I love you, you jerk! Greeley blushes. Gr Greeley. Uh... Greeley runs away from Peck, his face redder than a tomato, and he is totally freaking out. He hid behind a large tree, knowing that Peck likes him. Greeley felt very happy. Greeley ran towards Peck and slapped her with a smile. Peck. Titch, you wolf! Ha <laughs> ha! Greeley. Oh, you brat. Tell me, are you serious? Peck. Of course! Greeley, um, I, I, uh, Peck, you like me, huh? Greeley, yes, indeed. They both finished their task and defeated the phantoms. The end. And that was that. I wanted to break and laugh that whole read. I, I really tried to get through it fast also. Sorry about that. I just didn't want it to drag out too long. It seemed to escalate kind of fast, but I guess these sort of fan fictions can be that way. There was another fanfiction I read through for Greeley and Peck, but it was a bit longer and had a few parts, so I decided I wouldn't read it in the video. It was called Peck's X Greeley Fanfic Trapped Underground Part 1, which was just Greeley and Peck being trapped underground with some wacky romance fun along the way. Then I found a fanfiction called I Will Be There. It was about Greeley and how he's with a jammer called Amelia. Definitely doesn't sound like a self-insert. And Peck was super sad about it. I'll read the description for the fan story. When Peck founds out Amelia and Greeley are mates, she goes into a state of depression, and no matter how hard Greeley tries to cheer up, she just pushes him away until one night Greeley finds Peck crying by the Myra statue in Jamal Township, and she tells him her feelings. Will Greeley decline or will Greeley accept? I started laughing after reading the will Greeley decline or accept, and I think I also realized in that moment that I had spent hours on a video script about a ship between Animal Jam Alpha characters. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, what's done is done. And honestly, that pretty much covers everything about Greeley and Peck and their ship throughout the Animal Jam community. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on this Animal Jam ship. 
Anyways, thanks so much for watching all the way through. Don't forget to leave a like as it really helps my channel. I'm Lima Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time.